And this episode of Pen Point is brought to you by Netflix. Um, you know, when you do a show like uh, Pen Point, and I know you all do, that's one of the things that's happened. You know, as Andy Warhol said, uh, in the future, everybody will be famous for 15 minutes. Everybody's famous all the time. You all do blogs, you all do videos, I watch a lot of them. And when you do this, what you usually do is you bitch about shit, you know? You got stuff that really pisses you off and you complain about it. And I just want to do one of these where I just say, hooray for the USA. Some great stuff happened. A circuit court decided that the FCC could not tell people they couldn't say fuck on TV. This is the Bono and Cher thing. And I don't know the exact details of it, but at least they threw it out of court. And more important than that, a guy that I know, uh, jo John Stagliano, who uh, is a great guy and is known as Buttman, uh, was arrested for obscenity and brought to fucking court, okay, under, um, under the thing, because he does these videos of women, I guess, I didn't see them, he gave me copies, I went out to dinner with him, he gave me copies, I never got around to watching them, but uh, I'm sure they're great. Uh, of women giving like uh, milk enemas and squirting milk out their assholes. And the reason it's milk is because it's photogenic. You see the white coming out. And they also do like cum swapping and stuff. And for some reason, the fucking government decided, and this is the idea, this is how easy it is to avoid this. How easy it is to avoid it. I haven't watched them. And I'm a fucking scumbag. I haven't watched them. It just, you know, I'm not against watching it. I might like it. It might be sexy. I don't know. But I didn't bother watching it. Well, you know, I got other stuff to do, you know. Um, it's like my mom. Not that my mom ties in with milk enemas. But my mom and I, when I was uh, like, you know, 18 or 19 or something, I was watching my hero, Al Goldstein, on my other hero, Tom Snyder's show. And he was talking about some prosecution he had for doing the magazine Screw. And... Uh, my mom, who had never seen a Playboy and never said, you know, shit or damn or hell or fuck or anything, um, she said, uh, do, do they make anybody read this magazine screw? And I said, no. And she said, then what's the problem? Exactly! If you don't want to see it, don't fucking see it. So these milk enema things, so uh, Bob Corn Revere, who was another hero of mine, one of my best friends, I love him, he was, he was local counsel for John Stagliano, and they did the case, and he got thrown out of court, and uh, I just want to say it's a great day, I'm just resting my arm here, it's a great day for the United States of America that we had this one case where the FCC was told they just had to back the fuck off, I believe that was the exact words of the judge, hey, FCC, you need to back the fuck off. And, um, and then uh, John Stagliano was thrown out of court. And supposedly, um, uh, Richard Abowitz, who's a, who's a, a Vegas, um, Vegas entertainment writer, who covered it for Reason Magazine, Reason.com, Reason Magazine is just the coolest, uh, coolest website and journalists around. And he covered it for them. I haven't read all he said, but he did say that they toasted with champagne glasses full of milk, which I love because I don't drink at all. And I love that it was milk and that was also what they had shooting out their ass and all sorts of stuff. But anyways, if you want to read more about this, it's all over. But I just wanted to say something really good about uh, the United States of America. And these are two things that are really good. The FCC told the back the fuck off by the circuit court and, uh, and John Stagliano just having a walk in the park. And thank you, John, for fighting this. We know we could have ducked out of it earlier, but he went there, he went the distance. It's really terrific. And if you want to read about another one of the heroes, she never got to talk, but Lorelai Lee, Lorelai Lee is the porn star here. Um, and this is in Salon, which I don't know if they can show broadsheet, but they can do a search for this. Porn star Lorelai Lee talks obscenity. The actress at the center of the case against John Stagliano opens up about the darker sides of the adult business. I gotta tell you, this interview right here, the interview right there with, um, I don't know her real name, I don't happen to know this woman, or maybe I do, maybe I do know her, that's not her real name, and I also don't recognize people much. I don't recognize people much from looking at their assholes when milk is shooting out of it, although I should. Wouldn't that be a great skill? Um, 
Here's a great interview here from from the uh, from Milk Nymphos, which is one of the, uh, the videos that was busted. And I got to tell you, she's a she's an absolute hero. She talks about how dark and creepy some of the sex stuff she is she does is, and how some of it is humiliating, but not as humiliating as being a barista. And I always say that you know there was a study of uh, the Mies Commission. Uh, did a study on porn under Reagan. They were supposed to come out and, and trash porn. That was what it was supposed to be doing. It's like 1,200 pages, and I think one person read it, and that was me. And there's an interesting figure in it, in the middle of it, which is that, like, I think it's it's uh, uh, something like, I forgot the number. The number matters, uh, so I should have the real number. But I never, you know, I'm never accurate on these pen points. You never get any information from me. But I think they said, like, 74% of the uh, actresses in pornography that they talked to would not be doing it except for the money. What? That means 16%, is that right? 26%, maybe it was 80, 84%. I don't know the number, but there is a percentage of them that said they would do it without the money. You know, what? Go to McDonald's, ask McDonald's employees, go to Starbucks, go to fucking Apple, where the geniuses are thrilled, and say to them, how many of you would keep working if we stopped paying you, and see if you get any number, you get any number at all. Anyway, so, uh, and then John Stagliano says something to me that was amazing. I asked him why he thought uh, women did pornography, young women, and he said they want to immortalize their youth. Oh man, is that beautiful. I gotta tell you, I sure wish I had a lot of pictures, uh, videos of me at 18 fucking. Cause you know, I weigh 280 now. When I was 18, I weighed just over 200 pounds. I was like 210 pounds. I was like skinny and tall. And I wish I'd taken a lot of video of me fucking. And me even shooting milk out my ass. So anyway, so let's talk about uh, this woman here, uh, Lorelai Lee. Uh, talking about obscenity, and this woman should be president of the United States of America. This interview with her in Salon is one of the sanest interviews with anybody I've ever read anywhere. She's just wonderful. And it's a great day for freedom of speech and a great day for the United States of America. Let freedom ring, motherfuckers. Go to www, or as we call it, 6U. Go to www.netflix.com slash pen for your free trial membership. I just got the monkey's first season. The whole first season on Netflix. And I was having trouble buying that anywhere. Netflix gives you stuff you can't buy. Doesn't matter that it's cheaper. It's fast. I get the monkeys. I'm going to try to take an evening off and watch the monkeys because I love... Uh, I love Mike Nesmith so much. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you get DVDs by mail in about one business day. And that's really true. I mean, they're not lying about that. The shit comes fast, and it comes with these cool little mailers that you just pull it out, put it back in. You don't have to monkey with anything. It's, it's really terrific. Plus, you can instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies streamed directly to your PC, Mac, or write to your TV via a Netflix-ready device like PS3, Xbox 360, and the Nintendo Wii console. And they're not even telling you enough there, because I use my iPad. You know, I use my iPad for everything. You see me have it uh, right here and plugged in all the time. Boy, those are cute kids, aren't they? And uh, I, uh, I get it right to my iPad. I go in the bathtub. I put on my Sennheiser noise-canceling headphones with a cord that doesn't have a mic so you can dangle in the water. I go in a hot bath at about 2 a.m. and I watch a movie with my Sennheiser headphones and my iPad and it's the greatest thing in the world. You might as well just throw away your TVs. You don't need any cable, nothing. It's all Netflix through your Wi-Fi. It's the greatest thing in the world. Where was I? I was talking Netflix. And as a new member and a pen point viewer, pen point viewer, <laughs> You'll get a free trial membership now. Go to netflix.com slash pen and sign up now for a free Netflix membership. Be sure to use this URL so they know we sent you. You really should do that. It helps me out a lot. I mean, I love Netflix, uh, but if you use this URL, which is netflix.com slash pen, it's a big deal for me.